How do Formula One drivers use braking to get around corners? They use something called trail braking, and this is how it works. So when you're driving your regular car and you apply the brakes, you'll notice that the front of the car dips down. That's because the load shifts to the front under braking. Now, the same thing happens in Formula One, but you don't notice it so much because they use something called anti-dive in their suspension setup that stops that rocking backwards and forwards from happening. But that load shift is still happening and that really benefits turning the car. So the more load there is on the turning wheels, the front wheels, the more turning effect there's going to be because they're most effective. Also, that shift from the rear means the rear is more likely to rotate because it's essentially lighter. So how's that different from regular braking? Well, usually people will apply the brake to its fullest degree, slowing the car to the point where they can turn the car, let go of the brake and make the turn. What that does is that shifts the load back to its regular position and can very much destabilize the car with that shifting of the load. But when you trail brake, you still brake really hard into the corner, but you don't just jump off the brake. You slowly pull back on the brake as you're turning the car, which maintains that load over the front wheels keeping the rear a bit lighter, helping to rotate the car. And as you're turning, you're reducing the brake. And as you pull out of the corner, of course, you're off the brake and you're applying the accelerator. And it keeps stability in the car whilst keeping that load over the front wheels. This is most often applied in the slow and medium speed corners. In the high speed corners, you do want to keep that traction on the front and rear. You don't really want to shift that load around, but you can still apply it a little bit. But that's how you use braking to get around a corner as fast as possible.